Hello, everybody. Welcome along to Sports Bet TV with me, Paul Alster. Delighted to be here with you looking ahead to Saturday, uh, which uh, promises to be a great day's racing across Britain and Ireland. And of course, the feature action at Haydock Park, where uh, the Group One Sprint Cup is going to be off at 3 35. Um, if you're discovering this channel for the first time, just press the subscribe button below this screen. Uh, you'll be able to keep in touch with all my free selections here at Sportsbet. I offer at least one uh, every weekend and very often two. On this occasion, I've only got the one for you. Um, however, I have five selections at my subscription service uh, out in front, uh, which you can click and find out more about in the description box uh, just below this screen. And we've been in good form uh, last weekend in particular with a 101 to 1 double uh, last uh, Saturday, uh, too tempting, recommended at 16 to 1, and Spirit Mixer at 5 to 1 did the business. We also went close with another one second at Sandown from our four runners. So things have been going pretty well. If you want some of that, I've got four for Saturday and one for Sunday already out there at uh, Out in Front. Last week's election here, Ganesha, didn't run up to expectations. I'm hoping that this week's uh, runner will do a little bit well quite a lot better. And we go to the Haydock 440 race on Saturday, which is a mile handicap. The forecast ground at Haydock is good to soft. They've missed the worst of the heavy rain that caused Salisbury, for example, to be abandoned uh, just the other day. 13 runners at Haydock in the 440 Saturday and 12 months ago. In this very race, Daryl Holland's Pearl Eye won off a five pounds lower mark, coming with a customary late flourish to score in good style. Now, he won on his first start this season at Pontefract in similar fashion, held up early, then running on strong to sweep past a lot of them. He's been gelded uh, prior to his latest run when he wasn't disgraced at Beverly last month. There's every chance that shrewd old Daryl Holland, who of course was a tremendous rider in his time, has been targeting this race once again, so Pearl Eye is respected. An all barn for David O'Mara. Well, he's getting a bit long in the tooth, this horse, but still decent on his day, as he showed when he won the Carlisle Bell handicap earlier this season. Uh, after the handicap had dropped him quite a bit, he's come back up a bit in the weight. He isn't quite in that kind of form since, though, but he has faced tougher opposition, so maybe a return to form is not completely out of the question for all barn. Now, Jack Shannon runs a horse in form called Alcalia Flynn. This horse has had a good campaign, gone up £13 in the weights, though, for winning three of its last four races. Its latest win came at Windsor, uh, and that suggested he might still have a little more to give, because like a number of his main rivals here, he's another of those horses who likes to be held up before coming through to finish fast. So those horses aren't always easy for the handicapper to assess, because if they don't win by too much, you don't know how much they've got left in the locker. He's been put up three pounds for his latest win. He's going to be getting weight from all his rivals, taking on better horses, though. Interesting to see how our Kalia fling goes. James Ferguson's Mr. Swivel stayed on well to get up close home at Newmarket recently to land his first handicap win. He's not out of it. And then both Autumn Festival for David O'Mara and Titan Rock for John and Sean Quinn have become potentially very well handicapped, but neither of them has shown enough form, really, in recent starts to suggest that a revival is imminent and it's difficult to re recommend either Autumn Festival or Titan Rock. So to my selection. Well, Rogue Encore is trained by Peter Chapelheim and is the amount of the, whole, the jockey that I think is probably the champion jockey elect. He's miles clear in the race for the jockey's championship, Asheen Murphy. And this horse probably went into a lot of notebooks last time when it was very unlucky at Newbury got absolutely no sort of run, despite travelling powerfully and eventually. Well, to my eyes, anyway, you can have a look at it if you're able to access a video replay. Rob Hamlin, who was on board that day, I think he lost patience and he gave up the ghost, maybe a little bit too early, easing down some way from the finish. So this son of Kodiak remains a maiden after just five starts. Now, although he's yet to win, this three-year-old has certainly shown enough ability to land a race such as this, in my view. His novice stakes third when he was trained early in his career by Tom Clover was to the subsequent Group 1 winner Inish Erin. And that stands out as a red-hot piece of form. Inish Erin, of course, is favourite 
uh, with most firms, I believe, for the um, uh, Spring Cup uh, earlier on on the card at Haydock. Now, uh, his three quarters of a length third on his handicap debut, Rogue Encore, was another good effort. It suggested that his turn wouldn't be far away, and he was gelded after that, and then had that unlucky run at Newbury last time. Now, I think Rogue Encore is a real likely saw for this race. Problem is, at the time of this recording, there have been no odds put up by any of the firms. Now, I'm hoping that he's going to be available at around 7 to 1 each way. That might be a touch optimistic. Uh, I did see one of the minor firms had gone in early at 7 to 2, which I thought was uh, playing it a little bit too cagey. But I certainly hope he'll be enough of a prize for you to be able to bet him each way. If he is very short, then you'll have to decide for yourself whether you want to play win only or decide not to get involved. Remember, with any bet, you can walk away. You don't have to have the bet. It's your decision as to whether or not you think the value is there. But if he's each way prize, that is five to one or bigger, then I'll certainly be stepping in. And I'm hoping that some of the firms might even go as big as sevens. That is Rogue Encore, my suggestion for you on Saturday, Haydock 440 here at Sports Bet. If you're interested in five more selections out, out in front, where I must remind you, a 101 to 1 double uh, came up for us last Saturday, then check out the link in the description box below this very screen. Whatever you do, I wish you the very best of luck. Enjoy the weekend. I'll be back same time next week. Bye-bye.